Today is day two of working in the woods. It's a little bit chillier today, so I got a sweatshirt on. I worked a little bit the one evening when I got home, just moved some wood and things around, which I'll show you here in just a second. But um, hopefully today I'm gonna be able to crank out a lot of this operation to clear out the woods and get rid of all this stuff. So as you can see, here's what I'm looking at right now. I got rid of a lot of these pallets. I mean, this had all pallets all over the ground, which some of these I kind of stacked up on the sides here. Some of these are beyond use. I mean, I'm going to burn that completely. I moved the wood. All I have left for wood is this birch right here. This is from a tree that the previous owner cut down. And then this is just some uh, pine that I cut down that there. And then this is just some small stuff, which I'll probably just burn most of this outside this summer when we're having campfires and things. Uh, the only real heating wood that's left is under there, which I'm going to move. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to do this because this is gonna be a part of my track all throughout here. I apologize for my rooster. He knows I'm making a video, so that's why he's going crazy. I'm gonna burn all this stuff here. This is gonna be kind of where the track comes around like this, all through this area. So this thing has to go. I'm probably gonna keep this because this is one of the best pallets that's out here, and that's where he kept his most recent wood on. So I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna cut this tree down somehow and uh, maybe slice that into pieces to use for other stuff. But the track's gonna go through here and uh, I'm gonna cut some more of those branches down off these trees to make that a little higher. This is gonna be cleared out a little bit further down here. I'm cutting this whole tree, all this off here so I can ride through that. And I'm cutting all these off. So basically anything that's under like eight feet tall, I'm getting rid of so I can actually make a track that goes through this area right there because you're going to want to go through that. And then the same thing probably for these over here. I'm going to try to cut all these off to allow myself to go through there and maybe even on the outside here. And that's going to go even further back here. I'm going to cut all these branches off down here. It's going to be quite a burn party when I finally get through all this. And of course, just clear out everything that's on the ground. Like I obviously can't be riding here with limbs and stuff all in the way. So all this crap's gonna get burnt and it's gonna look really super nice once I'm done out here. So that's the beginning of day two. I got a lot of work ahead of me today. I'm gonna try to do a good bit of burning, although it is a little windy out here today, which is making it a little chilly, but uh, definitely looks nice out here. And I'm gonna try to get as much done as I possibly can in one day today to clear this out. And I'm gonna try to get out here with the four-wheeler as soon as I can, but it's gonna be a lot of work. And as you can see uh, so far in this video, there's a lot more left to be done. So I'll give you an update. I'm not gonna film throughout the day probably. Maybe I'll give you a quick update here and there, but I'll show you how it looks when I'm uh, progressing or definitely when I get done here this evening. You can't be all work out here. Ready? There she goes. Gotta keep the helper happy. Good girl. I got my burn going on out here. It's a uh, not something I would recommend doing. Burning uh, lots of wood in a forested area with basically pine needles on the ground. What I've been doing is I, I had stuff fall out of there and it kind of catches the ground on fire. I have this hose out here which I've been spraying the ground whenever that happens and just trying to keep everything maintained and, and uh, just doing my best out here. But it's kind of nice that I can get rid of all this stuff fairly quickly just by burning it. I probably should get more than one burner barrel just to speed up the process but this will do for now. Well I just finished up out here. It's uh, about time for dinner so we're going to head in. Roxy likes to lick the sweat off my face, but uh, spent about six hours out here today trying to get as much done as I can. And looking around, it may not seem like I really did a whole lot. I got some stuff still burning. My main objective today, which I think you'll be able to tell from looking down through here, is I cut all of the limbs off the trees, which really took me a lot of time. You can see how many cuts that I had to do with all the fresh all the fresh wounds here in the tree. But coming through here, you can really see where the track's coming together. Before you couldn't even walk through there and now it's wide open. Uh, coming around here, this is gonna be where the track kind of comes around and turns right where the chicken fence is. As you can see, I still got a lot of stuff to burn that's on the ground. But I took all this out and now you can start to see how it's gonna go. Going from here, you're gonna go around the bend here and then I'll zoom in to where the track's gonna go down through. It's gonna be right up through there and then go up by the shed. So it's gonna be pretty decent. 
But the thing is, like I was mentioning, you really can't tell what I've done out here because I have all this stuff laying around, which obviously wasn't there earlier before I cut that. I've been trying to burn as much as I can. And then uh, these pallets, I decided this is where the wood's actually going to go because I can't really ride through these two trees right here. And this is going to be sort of like the center of the track. So we'll have the, the pallets here and pretty much where the burner barrel is, I'm going to knock that down. And that's where all the wood's going to go. So that wood's going to disappear. I'll uncue my rooster crows. That wood's going to go on there too. And then this wood too. So it still looks pretty bad out here because I have all this junk here. And then I have this junk here. I kind of moved this from where that spot where it was at before because this is where the turn's going to be for the other end. And now you can see a little better where the track's going to go. It's going to go right up through there just like I showed before and go way down past that ladder. So this is going to be quite a substantial mini track. It's, it's really not that many at all and kind of go out around here too. And there's going to be all kinds of different things that I could do with it. It's just kind of a bummer when you put all that work in out here. I was really hoping to have something to show you tonight that would be substantial. Like, oh, you can really see how it's coming along. But I don't think you can really see it too much with the exception of how much I cleared out the trees back there because there's just still so much stuff out here. I do have a good collection of bricks going on here that were under the pallet. So I'll be able to use those to level things out. And I, hopefully everything just kind of goes as it should and I can get this finished up rather quickly. You can see how many incidents I had with stuff falling out that's on fire. Like I said, I don't, I don't recommend... Really? Come on. Okay, so that's it for day number two. I'm going to wrap it up here, go have some dinner, and I'll be back with day three whenever that day actually comes to hopefully finish this up and then we'll be ready to ride.